Hello world, and Camden back with another story from American McGee's Grimm. This time it's going to be Jack and the Beanstalk. And just like before, I better go ahead and get the start because these tend to be going longer than uh, the early ones. Alright, start light there. I could have sworn this is where the golden goose was and supposed to be. this credulous, lazy Jack merely swapped his mother's well-being for some magic beans, he'd have remained an anonymous fool. But... Add high crimes and misdemeanors to his folly, and he gets a tail named after him. Jack, dear, we've sold everything except Milky White. Now she must go, so we might buy a nice piece of cheese for you. I'll take you to market and get a fair price. He wouldn't know a fair price if it bit him on the backside. And note that finding a paying job never occurred to him. Where are you off to with that lovely cowboy? I'm going to sell her at the market. I can offer you five magic beans for her and save you the walk. Plant them and by morning they'll grow right up to the sky. Really? To verify this dubious character's claim would presumably be too much like work. Besides, he's besotted by the prospect of possessing magic beans. Mother, I've made an extraordinary bargain. Tell all my treasure. I got these magic beans. Oh, my Jack, whatever shall we do? We have nothing for supper. Let's go to bed. Their very existence now threatened. She recommends a nap. Oh, well. Overnight, and here I remark that even a blind pig occasionally finds an acorn, the beans grew into a gigantic beanstalk. Just like the stranger said. I wonder what's up there. Oh, Jack, don't climb. You'll fall and break your neck, and I'll be left all alone in the world. <laughs> Jack pays no heed to her words or tears. With no plan, with no clue, he begins to climb. Must have looked easy. I've climbed all day, so I must be going somewhere. There's sure to be food in such a big place. Ooh, you best come inside, boy. It's dangerous for you out here. Hold on. Oh, surely not, missus. It looks very peaceful. Typical Jack. Frequently wrong, but never in doubt. No resources, no skills, no idea. Hold up, something's wrong doing. there. In short, no sense. But instead of dying unknown and hungry, he's saved by the kindness of a stranger. Is he grateful? Not today. Mm. Give me another piece of pie. I'm so hungry, I could eat an ox. And tell whoever is making that noise to hush. I'll want a nap soon. That's my husband, Blunderbore. He feeds on human flesh and would find you a tasty morsel. fee fi fo fum I smell the blood of a human. I thought it was supposed be to be an English. Be he alive man. or be he dead, I'll grind his bones to make my bread. Oh, nonsense, dear. You smell the scraps of that tyke you enjoyed last night. Have a wash and tidy up. Wait, he always has a doze after eating. So, Jack abuses his saviour's hospitality. Twice, he robs her husband and, not satisfied with a single windfall, his greed leads him back for more. Is there anything excepting honest work this boy won't do? You seem very like the boy who stole our gold. Wasn't me, missus. My brother, perhaps. A very naughty boy. Might I have a bite to eat? Oh, all right. But if you don't hide immediately, you'll be on the menu. fee fi fo fum I smell the blood of a human. Be he live or be he dead, I'll grind his bones to make my bread. No, oh dear, I'm braising an ox. Sit down. How about a nice barrel of beer? Bring me my hen and my harp. Now go to bed. If Ms. Blunderbore were any less perceptive, she'd be a mineral. <laughs> it's like Jack met the only person in the world less discerning than himself. Lucky boy. Lay. Sing. Master, master, save me. Stop. Thief. 
Jack is a thief, and the ogre is really not impressing me. I'll trick you by your smell, you beauty stinker. I'll squash you like a dung beetle and feed you to my goats. I wish I'd cut off your ugly snout, you overgrown ape. In many tales, there's little to differentiate between the threats and insults of those about to be winners and those about to be dead. Mother, quick, bring me an axe! The rhyme would go. The giant fell down and broke his crown, etc., etc., blah, blah. As if Jack even knew how to use an axe. <laughs> Jack and his mother became rich, and it's said that he married a princess and that they lived happily ever after. What he did to acquire his fortune is clear. What he did to deserve it remains a mystery. If you'd like a different version of Jack, one with more mm, verve and age-appropriate reality, play on! Yes, please, Grim. <laughs> Scene one. To market, to market. Let the misery begin. A clueless cow, more fit for the knacker's yard than for the market, fires up this terrible tale of reckless woe, theft, and murder. Mm. Which cow to sell? Let's make the choice a little easier. Make it gross. Grim Dungeon! Okay, no slimy stuff covering the top. Maybe people said they didn't like that. But it, the bar is keeping that new look, apparently. Alright, the original tale, at least the tale that I knew before, <laughs> the one that I remember seeing reading and being told, not directly from the Grimm's tales, but the family's so poor they have to sell the cow to be able to eat. Now, not much for the future thought there. However... Uh, there's the whole idea like they could have just eaten the cow. But this picture right here, look, they, they have food everywhere. Uh, well, not after Grim's done with it, but still. <laughs> oh, not even the smelly. My goodness, those people gotta stop cleaning this. You think they wanna eat the food later? Uh,. And the foolishness about buying Ow, the beans belly. is more, let's say, abusive in its execution. Come on. Oh, they're cleaning. Wait, they're cleaning fast. I gotta get all this. Grim. There we go. We're getting more stuff. Not too gross. Don't delay! Oh, stop black away. rain. Alright, alright. Can I get people to stop cleaning? Not yet. Let's go ahead and convert it. Jack and the cow share a common trait. They revere inertia. Let's give them a good reason to move. Make it rot. I almost are rotten. Hopefully I can start converting the cleaners. Oh, there's a coin. Stand still, Oops. earns Jack Jimmy. and the cow. Swift kicks in tender spots. Move out, boy! Get on, Missy! Oh well, uh, I didn't mean to convert it already. Oh no, only 86%. Oh my hearing. A garden variety bean seller, far down on his luck, but not lacking in chutzpah, sees Jack and the cow and decides he wants to enter the cheese business. Make it foul. Let's muck it up. All right. 
The other things I noticed that were a little different. The giant, I don't remember there being a giant's wife. I just remember there being the giant that owned the harp and the golden, uh, golden now, goose that ate I... golden eggs. Oh, oh, can I confirm already? Can I? No? Oh. Uh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it. I really made this sound. Oh, oh, get, get him, bird. Get him, bird. It <laughs> sounds like he hits me here from TF2. Alright, can I get the scanners converted? No, not yet. Oh, let's go ahead and turn this because I see some places across the river. Yeah, it. Oh, it. Anyway, it's all it's tough. Oh, there's my way across. Oh, so now he's dealing in magic beads. Who'd buy that? Jack Batto. Let's seal the deal. Make it. Masting. Grim's rotten now. Uh oh, I can get the cleaners done. Come on, there we go. So there's a lot of things that I don't. I, Aren't lining up with the original the tale that I originally knew, at least. And then you had the giant's wife who had a beard. And I could just see it was an overlap from an on another model. Cause I kept seeing like mouth peeking up above the beard. Alright. Don't stomp yet. Stomp it good. Come on. I got plenty to keep her. Stop right here. Alright, come on, 90%. 90%, there we go. That's what I'm aiming for. He went from the farm boy to eat, <laughs> to a goth punk. <laughs> no good can come of this. So let's get on with it. <laughs> no, he, he has the hair cover now. He's not goth. He's emo. <laughs> Towering tendril. Not quite the windfall she expected for the sale of their prize ah. bovine. <laughs> Mother oh. beats the tar out of Jack until the sun comes up. That sounds about right. All right, that might help. Most would say not much, but not me. Beat on, Mama, beat on! And in the morning... Make it rotten! Oh. Get it on! Okay, let's get as much converted as I can down here. Oh, I could start it stinky at least. Now I'm gross. Ah, I gotta get this cleaners taken care of, otherwise they're cleaning everything while I'm trying to find the beanstalk. I saw the clouds as platforms up there, so I obviously know I gotta go up there. I mean, and that's kind of the point of the beanstalk too. Now I. All right, almost to rotten. Oh, I can get the guy. Right, let's get the 
rest out here. No, you're not allowed to quit. Get all them. I don't want to get the next stage going just yet, mainly because it might clean me up in there. So let's get as much as I can down here first. Oh, I see a coin. It's up there. I probably have to jump. Okay, maybe I gotta jump to it from up there. Robin, stop it! Fast kicking good. All right, Jack, keep going. The beanstalk juts high into the sky and threw a few villagers for special effects. <laughs> Make it disgusting. Oh uh, boy. Ah, uh, platforming. They really love turning this into platform since... <laughs> uh-oh, uh-oh. Grim. Don't act like you're balancing. You're throwing me off. Chomp and stomp! Okay. Yeah, this way, this way, this way. And then there's the coin. I could try to go for it, or I'll worry about that on my own in a few... later. Alright. Jump on the clouds. Oh, Jack's actually I'm moving as I go. Interesting. Ah, <laughs> there's another coin. Although I'm not going to use that other one there. Now I'll get this one at a future time. Because I'm feeling the platforming will frustrate me. Come on, boy! Get on board the Grim Express! We've got giants to topple! Jack climbs the beanstalk. I like it if he fell. Too bad Jack falling to his death can't be part of the story. Let's put an end to this thing. Convert this. Wait, hold on. What? Make a mess. I think I'm getting a touch of pizza. Oh, I see what's going on. Wait, a whole, it, they threw in a whole climbing animation just for this section. And I got oh, I got dodge beans that are falling. <laughs> oh, don't tell me I gotta go the entire way. All right, those wind sound effects are a little loud, and I can't look up far. Okay, I'm going to adjust the sound effects. Well, that might be ambience, too. So let's just get by. Alright. Still a little loud in my ears, but not as bad. Ah, thank you, camera, for actually looking up. Oh! Now I got wind. <laughs> All right, so now I have wind effects I, I got to watch for. I could probably see it from here. Now I'm repulsive. Now that's a room with a view. Yeah, those wind effects were on the lap. Oh, there were two in there. Oh, yeah. It was the same level. I thought there were two on the climbing. <laughs> he has a peace sign on his back. Jack Are you kidding? Upon a giant's castle. Some would call this breaking and entering. Oh, good. Some proper mischief. Yeah, that sounds more right to the story. Me! 
Make it nasty. Let's move. Keep I found thumb. I smell the blood of a human. Be he lime or be he dead, I'll grind his bones to make my bread. Grims. Oh, I wonder. Now. Oh, I was. Oh, one convert. There's a stuck dead mouse in it. <laughs> or struggling mouse. Shoot. Grinding bows to break bread. Cooking Englishman. That that's what's supposed to be in the rhyme. B five o fum. I smell the blood of an Englishman. All right, come on. All right, all cleaners convert. Let's get the rest of the floor. Edge here. Oh, this light, cheery piano banjo music is getting to me. Come on, we gotta get this music to stop. Got all the floor, but it's still not even to rotten. Lovely. <laughs> the Necronomicon. Uh, and it, I know that book, it, uh, that was originally called uh, Book of Fun, Origami. Human Origami. <laughs> now who's rotten? Oh. Not there yet. Alright, let's get some stuff up here. Oh, what's that say? Foof! <laughs> like metal band. Foof! And maggots and eyeballs. Oh yeah, this all fits more. Okay, now I can go get that. Oh, I was hoping to walk on his hands. Back down. Uh oh. That doesn't seem safe. <laughs> Come on, Jack. Go steal something. I got collectibles now? They're throwing Our collectibles land tries to steal the golden goose. Too bad that beast doesn't have the brains to bite Jack's head off. Make it repulsive. Okay. Eh, interesting. Uh, I see gold coins right here. Oh, they're just popping as it gets converted. Okay, we've had that before with like horseshoe type things. All right, fifty percent. Right, and it looks like those eggs are popping too. Oh my! <laughs> the fade out on the egg shows. Uh oh, okay, so there's wind things going. Oh no! Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, you can see the uh, uh, developing chick inside the eggs. So uh, if you watch closely. 
before the egg completely fades out, the shell will fade, and then... Oh... Uh, that, that's just... that's just dark. That's really dark. Uh, oh! Okay, at least I'm here. One, two, one, two. One, two. Okay, pass that. No wind. No wind gotta deal with here. Go ahead and pop that egg, too. Just, you know. Make it complete. Oh no, no! I'm gonna go this way. There's plenty over here. And, oh, that's fine. Seems like the uh, flooring doesn't really t change much in the percentage. this down. Fairly big level to work with. Oh, oh, oh well, am I stuck? Am I stuck? Come on, let me. <laughs> this is weak. Right. Climb up here. There we go, alright. Is that how I'm supposed to get back up? Come on, I don't want any cleaners. One, no matter how many legs they have. <laughs> it just squeaks. <laughs> I don't know why, I just find that funny. Alright, back along the path. I'm at 79%. I might not hit the 90 unless I go down to that lower area. Oh, wedding picture. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> they gave the him goose nipple isn't piercings. Enough. Jack goes for the gold. Let's make his life a little more interesting. Oh, wife's mad. Alright, so it looks like 90% is the threshold to get the star. Grand Theft Goose. <laughs> and the goose is just gonna flutter down. Oh, oh, it's the climbing thing again? If I have to run away, I'm not gonna get much on the converting then. Make it! Disgusting. Okay, disgusting's not that much. Let's grim it. Okay. I just have to get going because this is not, this is obviously chasing. I just got to get as most as I can. I gotta go left or right, left or right, left or right until my radius is high. Grims. Oh, 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 I'll take the super speed. Uh, oh, oh, don't go that way, don't go that way. I'm real close to disgusting, but it shouldn't take much. Come on. Make it dark. All right, I'll convert it. Thank you. Where's the harp? They stole the harp too. Make it 
Putrid. I'm riding the goose. Oh, oh, come on. Grim's repulsive. Uh oh, I'm stuck. Uh... <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Don't leave. Ah, oh, come on. You bite. <laughs> He's insulting as I go down. All right, let this time. Let's try to actually make it. Because this goose does not jump very well. It is just a goose that's golden. I can make that. Alright, obviously coins tell me to go this way. Coins telling me... Lots of coins tell me to go that way. Oh, hello. Oh, wait. You bite! <laughs> you bite! Let's try that again. Okay, at least I'm down here. Alright, you want me to go this way, obviously. Come on. Why are you sending me back up? Let's put an end to this thing. Oh. No, it's this way you want me to go. That was just to get back in case I missed something. Ah. I thought this was a chase scene, though. Oh, come on! I thought I could jump from the leaf. Now I have another secret. <laughs> I got it. I got a coin somewhere. Smell our tail feathers, you great bellowing oaf! Okay. <laughs> Gone to ground. Someone has a little weed problem. Let's do some gardening. Chop, chop, chop. At last, Jack's return home. Oh, this is overground. Let's finish this thing off proper. That little axe is going to take a while to get through. Putrid. Especially if you ask me that story to reach the sky. Oh, come on. Narrow platforms. <laughs> Ugh. Uh, now, this, I start fairly high. Nasty. Alright, I gotta hurry, because there's cleaners I gotta like, get, and obviously I gotta wait till I'm putrid. Now! Disgusting. Alright, let's get this. Thing. Obviously, get the things that they can't clean right away, or. Takes longer too. Ah, eggs. Now, I oh, hello. Wait, if one house does that, will the other do it? Oh, they're being ripped up. Ah, oh, that's how they're flying. Alright, I'm at Putrid, so I can start converting. Oh, I got one person. Alright, got all that out there. 76%, not bad. At least I don't have to go up too high. Uh, I'm missing four people where I thought it was one pig. Two pigs. Alright, missing one. Where? 93%. I seven.
Where's the last one? Oh! Way up there. How do I get it? Okay, take this. Take this branch. Um, where's it? Oh. Lost tracking of it. I'll just get up here. Oh, there's a coin! <laughs> Saw the coin right at the end while I was stopping. And down comes the giant. Oh, I still got time. Yeah, thank you. I'm already up to Vile, but uh, let's get this coin since I'm already up here. Alright, where is she? There she is. Oh, I'm at 99. 99%. Uh, no, I'm not good. Oh, it's probably that, that big stem out there. Oh, Jack survived. Oh, never mind. Jack barely escaped death and a steady job, and more's the pity. But it wasn't all golden eggs and happy days, was it? No, no. Call it karmic debt. Who walks through the befouled pastures of robbery and homicide without getting a load of psychic manure on his shoes? It all had to be paid for, and it was. Jack, you useless lout! Go sell the cow, let me starve! <laughs> I have to do everything. I was just about to take a nap. Only his mother, a monument of self-control, could resist assaulting him with a sharp implement as she placed their future in his idle hands. Where are you going with that flea-bitten, flat-altered bag of bones, boy? I'm going to sell her at the market. Hey, she'll never make it half that far. Give me one gold piece and I'll take her off your hands. I have no money. You drive a very hard bargain, my son. What's that? I'll give you these coloured beans. They'll bring you lasting good fortune. Really? Excellent. The profit from Milky White wouldn't last a month. The stranger knew his man, dim as a deep cave. Had they been of similar size, Jack would not have escaped the encounter with his trousers. I've made a good deal, I think. Anything less, Jack, and we must throw ourselves down the well. You first. I got these magic beans. Oh, Jack, what have you done? <laughs> How could you be such a dolt? Such an idiot? A cow gone for a bunch of coloured beans? <laughs> you stupid, stupid swine. <sighs> We've got nothing to eat but lard and chicken droppings. Jack goes to bed, his supper laying heavier on him than his bruises. Ugh. While he sleeps, the beans become a hideous beanstalk. To those without wit or expectations, anything out of the ordinary is remarkable. Huge beanstalk must be other words for good fortune. We are saved. A monstrous bean will be born. We can eat for a year. Ah, the true Jack has neither the imagination nor the inclination to explore the beanstalk. But his mother, recoiling from the prospect of dependency on a mutant bean, helps him exert the effort. God, Whew, climbing's like work. <laughs> I'm hungry. There must be food round here that needs people to eat it. Mm. Um, aren't you a plump? Calmly and well-formed creature. No, Mum. My name is Jack. 
Come inside, boy. I don't think you've the wit to survive on your own. If you say so, I'm perishing from hunger. Jack's stomach is a strong persuader and always trumps his brain. When he wants to fill his face, no risks deter him. It's a miracle he survived childhood. Fortune, however, is fickle. The lady likes him as a child likes a cream puff. <laughs> Give me another piece of pie. I'm so hungry I could eat an ox. And tell whoever's making that noise to hush. I want a nap soon. Your manners compare unfavourably to a pig. But it won't taste any the worse for it. Perhaps I should serve you to Blunderbore as an appetizer. No, I'll say you for myself. <laughs> Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell the blood of a human. Be he live or be he dead, I'll grind his bones and pop his head. Roll <laughs> again, Blunderbore. That's the third time this week. Leave now and you'll be meat for his hounds. Her motives are clear to us, but not to a dunderhead like Jack. He acts as he always does, without a thought for anyone but himself or for anything but the main chance. You miserable puny rogue! You stole my husband's gold, and I took a fearsome beating! Ooh. Wasn't me, missus. My brother, perhaps. A very naughty boy. Might have come in for a bite to eat. Do you take me for an idiot, boy? Blunderbore's at table now, and will be grateful to eat you for dessert. You're done for. Might I have a last request, Mum? A cool drink of water? I suppose it won't hurt for you to be a bit juicy. <laughs> Woman. Be right there, dear. <laughs> for once, Jack gets high marks for initiative. Fear of death will focus even the dullest minds. About time, too. Now Jack's survival is assured. There's so little justice in the world. Having dispatched one of his adversaries and incapacitated the other. Fool that he is, his advantage was temporary. I am what nature made me, but you born a man or a cockroach! A thousand curses on your kith and ken! May That's your kidding. generation be the last to pollute the earth! I curse you too, you big, mean, ugly, <laughs> bad giant! If Jack had ever heard the old saw about sticks and stones, he may have missed the point. Mother, quick, bring me an axe! Perhaps Jack grasps the saying that it's better to be lucky than good or competent, but probably not. And his luck, such as it is, did not last. He never married. He had to care for his mother, who was an invalid, having been struck by a carelessly thrown bag of gold. <laughs> Jack suffered from a chronic chicken flu, and the golden harp sang nothing but few. Yes, he escaped poverty and starvation, but at what cost? And why was it necessary? Ah, there's the rub. May all our stories end so well. <laughs> See, through the sucker time. ball did she get hit by it. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Definitely a twist I did not see there at the end. Ah, uh, that was Jack and the Beanstalk. <laughs> I'm curious how... American McGee is going to end this series. Uh, there's a few episodes left. I think five. Five more? Yeah. Uh, th for those who stuck around, thank you and good night. <laughs>